lot, a lot of processed food. Get away from eating processed food. Cook your food every day if you can. Grow a garden if you can. Buy organic if you can. If you cannot. social media, um, the deaths of young men, not so young men, from heart attacks, from strokes, from sudden death, from arrhythmias. It's been really unprecedented. Now, I don't know whether we're hearing about them more now because we are all more we're now all on social media more and more since the onset of covid and i'm not going to get into any theories as to why they are happening because i am all about solutions i'm all about solutions now um, i'm going to give a disclaimer before i go further i am a doctor as people know i am a doctor i've been practicing medicine for over 30 years and uh, i can honestly tell you that I have not seen this degree of reports about the incidents that I mentioned a few minutes ago. I've never seen it in my whole career as uh, the whole length of my career as a physician. So um, the, my disclaimer is this. I am not your doctor. I do not know your history. I don't know your family history. I don't know your mental health history. I don't know your medical history. And this is not in any way to serve as medical advice, but I will give you one thing that you can do and one thing that you can ask your doctor about. And that is very simple. I, this is not a gimmick. I'm not going to ask you to contact me. As a matter of fact, I don't want people who, <laughs> let's leave that alone. Um, but um, the one thing I will have you do actually one major thing in terms of medication so simple it helps to prevent other diseases and other things that I will mention the number one thing is this take a baby aspirin every day if you are male especially over the age of 50 if you are an athlete and you don't have any bleeding issues and you have cleared it again I am telling everybody that I am speaking to right now, who is listening to the sound of my voice right now, once you have cleared it with your own primary physician, I would like you to consider taking a baby aspirin a day. It may be life-saving for you. Why do I say that? Aspirin is, in layman's term, a blood thinner. And it is one of the treatments that have been used and utilized for many years in the treatment of blood clots and in the prevention of blood clots mostly. Um, some people have had to use it because they're dealing with autoimmune diseases, people who have had difficulty getting pregnant because, you know, autoimmune diseases sometimes tend to cause excessive clotting, which can kill off the early embryo um, in the early stages of development. So aspirin is used in that instance as well because it is a blood thinner. Taking an aspirin a day may help keep your blood just thin enough to prevent a stroke. May help you get your blood just thin enough to prevent a heart attack. May get your blood just thin enough to prevent other cardiovascular and cerebrovascular events if your heart is beating irregularly or is not beating as it should. Again, 
nothing can substitute for personalized care from your physician so please please talk to your physician and ask them if taking aspirin is an option for you it may be life-saving it may be life-saving I'm doing this because I am really really concerned it it is not based on sensationalism it is not based on any kind of conspiracy theory or the other um, one of my theories is that because of the shutdown with COVID a lot of us have become less active than we normally are and that gives rise to a whole bunch of other medical problems so I'm not talking about some sort of conspiracy theory here I'm talking about saving lives I'm taking, talking about saving a life maybe yours a baby aspirin a day after clearing it with your physician the other things that I would like to mention is this a lot of people have gotten into this habit of eating processed foods a lot a lot of processed foods get away from eating processed foods cook your food every day if you can grow a garden if you can buy organic if you can if you cannot get the healthiest ingredients you can there's so much to be said for the people who cook their meals fresh every day it may seem like a pain in the you know where but cooking a fresh meal every day goes a long way towards helping you put good ingredients in your body good ingredients that will help you stay healthy another thing is get active be active start exercising but the caveat to this is clear everything with your physician make sure that you're in good cardiovascular health make sure that your lungs are working right make sure that you don't have undiagnosed asthma undiagnosed reactive airways disease or any kind of cardiorespiratory um, issue um, make sure that you team up with someone make sure you start slowly don't just start exercising and want to run a marathon in the first week start slowly but just get active and the third thing is keep your mental health under your radar under your radar have somebody that you talk to pray be part of a fellowship when I mean fellowship I don't mean church I mean people who believe in you who believe for you who believe along with you and who can pray with you it is so very important more important than than social media more important than even connecting with with a book or something get a community get your own tribe so I've mentioned uh, uh, some things right now. Number one, aspirin. Number two, cook healthy. Number three, exercise. Number four, guard your mental health really closely. Number five, guard your spiritual health very, very closely. A number of days ago, I was feeling so down, and you know, not because of anything, but because it was just, it was just ick. The weather was ick. Things, some things were ick, and you know. I, I just couldn't deal with it. But then God in his infinite mercy just said to me, you know what? You do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Turn to me. Turn to me. Turn to God. And I'm not talking about Christians this time. Whoever you turn to, he will communicate with you. But I always tell my patients, one of the biggest reasons why people commit suicide or they feel that there's no way out is because they don't see a solution greater than themselves. So you've got to believe in something greater than yourself. Otherwise, you are the last option and you never want to be the last option. So please, 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 please get yourself some spiritual, how do I say, it? refuge, soccer, um, corner and connect with this our great God who is greater than all our problems, greater than everything we can ever face. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Today is Tuesday. The, which day is it today? I'm not even sure which date it is today. I think it's the 10th of January 2023. So in the midst of making all your uh, New Year's resolution and everything, consider this, especially if you're a male over the age of 40, if you're an athlete, if you're male not over the age of 40, consider taking an aspirin a day. It may save your life after consulting with your physician. Number two, eat healthy. Number three, exercise. Number four, connect with your tribe. Connect with the people who will affirm you in 2023. Number five, connect with God. 
God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you too soon. Soon. Not soon. <laughs> soon. And here's your girl, Mahita Bell. Not with musings this time, but maybe some life-saving tips. Oh, before I forget, aspirin can also help prevent other diseases. Coronary artery disease if you have a risk of it. Colon cancer if you have a risk of it in your family. It helps to reduce the incidence of colonic polyps in some selected individuals. So there are many, many benefits of a simple aspirin, but just make sure that you connect with your physician, talk to your doctor before starting it, but it may be life-saving. Thank you. Oh, and make sure you don't keep this video to yourself. Share it, share it, share it, share it. It may save another life apart from your own. God bless you.